What's up everyone, Yellowdot here, and this time we will be reviewing Barbara, the Hydro Catalyst user. Once again, thank you all for the support recently, if you enjoyed the videos make sure to subscribe, there will be plenty of more Genshin Impact content. Also, I will be doing a 24 hour stream when the game releases on September 28th on Global, the link will be in the description for that, so make sure to check it out. Now, as you can see, we have Barbara's profile here. I thought I would just show this from the on the side from now on, so people can have like a peek at what she's like and her background. And now let's move on to the talents. First, we have Whisper of Water, which is the normal attack. Performs up to four hydro uh, splash water splash attacks to deal hydro damage. Consumes a certain amount of stamina to deal AOE hydro damage after a short casting time. So you only use a little bit of um, stamina it looks like but we will see that in combat after this then we have a plunging attack um, Barbara turns into a hydro bubble and slams down to the ground deals AoE hydro da damage upon impact and then we have the, the big one let the show begin which summons water droplets resembling musical notes from, from a melody loop and they will go around Barbara, which apply wet to your own character, as well as surrounding enemies. As well as any other character that comes in contact with it, as well as other party members in co-op. Then, you have the melody loop. Barbara's normal attacks heal all party members and nearby allied characters for a certain amount of HP. Which kills with Barbara's max HP. So, Barbara is basically the more HP the better, which means you just heal more. Like, if you want to go DPS Barbara... I don't know if you want to do that, I think it's more like just for support, I want to say, based on having max HP heal scaling, you know. A charged attack generates four times the amount of healing, so you basically will heal way more with the, with the charged attacks if you use them on um, allies. Which I think can be pretty hard to aim, but we will have to see that in the future. Then we have regenerates a certain amount of the current character's HP at regular intervals. So basically it heals your own HP. Let's say you are Barbara and you swap to like a low HP Lisa. Then Lisa will get heals from that um, melody effect. Basically the melody loop. But it will also apply a wet on Lisa. Basically whoever you swap into it will apply a wet on. Then we have the ultimate. Shining Miracle. It basically heals all parties for a large amount of HP that skills with Barbara's max HP once again, skills with max HP, and it will heal a lot, I imagine. We are gonna test this out as well. Next we have Glorious Season, one of the passive talents. The stamina consumption of characters within Let the Show Begin Melody Loop is reduced by 12%. So let's say you are using like a Claymore character as example, and you want some healing, you walk to Barbara, you get that heal, and then after that you have less stamina consumption and you can do the spin to win for a longer period of time I imagine. So Barbara is really party oriented as far as I can see. Like a support oriented. Next we have Encore. When a character gains an elemental orb slash particle, the duration of Let the Show Begin Melody Loop is extended by one second. The maximum extension is five seconds. So basically as long as you um get orb slash particles and you do like skills with other characters let the show begin will be extended with a maximum of five seconds that's what it looks like and then we have path of talent with my whole heart when a perfect cooking is achieved on a dish with restorative effects there is a 12 percent chance to obtain double the product so you gain more um stuff from cooking as barbara on restorative effects and that is it for the talents. Now, let's see them in action. Now, we are gonna see Barbara in action and we have Lisa as a sidekick just in case there is Hydro enemies. I feel like clearing camps as Barbara by herself might be difficult, so that's why we have the sidekick. Let's see how this will go. Let's see what we have. Looks like it's some raiders. So far so good, it's pretty easy. It actually deals, she actually deals more damage than I had assumed. Because um, for my artifacts I'm, I'm mostly using max HP. So this is doing a surprising amount of damage so far I would have to say. Let's take some damage and use our E. Alright. Damn, they're being rude to Barbara, a little girl. Can you guys imagine? 
You guys gonna kick me or is that all? Alright, we got hit. Let's use our E. It heals for 620 a tick. And it looks like it's like once every 5 or 6 seconds. It is slower than before because it used to tick super fast in closed beta 2 and 3. So it is definitely changed a lot. Now let's swap to Lisa and electro charge these people a bit and take some damage. I kind of want to use Barbara's ultimate but we are not taking a lot of damage here. So instead we'll just clear this camp out and we'll try another camp after this. Now let's take out these enemies, let's swap to Barbara, get some electro charge going which will stun the enemy and clear the camp. Barbara did surprisingly well, way better than I had expected honestly for her combat. Now let's move on to another camp. Now we are gonna test Barbara and Lisa synergy. This time I got Lisa to low HP so we can actually test Barbara's healing capabilities in combat as well. Let's see how this will go. First I will touch it, start healing Lisa, swap to her. Alright it looks like it's water and electric, I mean a fire and a electric slime so this will be very good for Barbara as well. We swap back to Lisa, looks like it's more. So let's heal Lisa, see how much this heals. It heals her to full HP, that's actually kind of crazy. That's a way bigger heal than I had expected I would have to say. So now we are gonna take this camp out, mostly with Barbara, but this guy we can take out with Lisa and Barbara. Electro charge it up. Look at this. What a combo. Permanently stunned and permanently done for. A very good combo I would have to say. Let's do one more camp for good measure. We are back and we are gonna do one more camp for good measure. Let's see how this will go. First I will use my E with Barbara. Run into enemies, make them wet, and then we'll swap to Lisa and get some damage going. Looks like they are fire slimes anyway, so both characters are really effective against the, these enemies. Swap to Lisa. I did not finish it, unfortunately, the charge, because I was about to get attacked and it would have cancelled it. So it was definitely better there to swap instead of continue attacking. Looks like we have some pyro vines heal up but we are full hp Let's we are taking some uh, damage though so the damage we take is healed immediately so that is really nice now we are electro charging the plant and he can't even move now let's take care of this other plant and do the same thing we electro charge him but he can still do his attack so I guess that is like an unstoppable attack. Now he's electro charged again and he can't move. And he's done for. And that was the combination of Barbara and Lisa. I feel like they have very good synergy. Now that I've shown you her in action, we will move on to her constellations. Now let's have a look at a constellation, starting with Gleeful Songs. Barbara regenerates 1 energy every 10 seconds. Pretty basic, not a massive constellation one, but I, it's it's okay on Barbara I guess to restore or regenerate 1 energy every 10 seconds for the healing. But it's not anything like amazing I would say. Then we have Vitality Burst. Decreases the cooldown of Let the Show Begin by 50% during the ability duration, the current character gains 15% Hydro Damage Bonus. So this is a much better constellation, 50% cooldown is really big, as well as dealing 15% more Hydro Damage. So let's say you have like Barbara and Mona, I did think that would be a really strong combo, as well as Xinqui I believe would also be really good with Barbara if this is the case. Then we have Star of Tomorrow, increases your ultimate level by 3, nothing too massive. Then we have Attentiveness, be my power. Um, every enemy Barbara hits with a charge attack, regenerates 1 energy for her. A maximum of 5 energy can be regenerated in this manner with any one charge attack. So every charge attack can give you 5 energy max, it's really nice, the energy is stacking up with 1 and uh, 4. So you are really trying to stack up your energy here. Then we have the purest companionship which increases your E by 3 levels, nothing too um, special. 
Then we have the last one dedicating everything to you. When Barbara is not on the field and one of her party member falls, automatically revives this character, fully regenerates this character's HP to a hundred percent. This effect can only occur once every 15 minutes. So I think this is really, really big for domains. Like if you're do doing domain domains with one body and you both have two characters in a party and your main falls, Barbara will just automatically revive them and regenerate them to full HP. I think this is a massive constellation. Really good to revive people in the party. And that was it for all of her constellations. Now let's move on. Now we will go over ascension materials. First we have Varunada Lazarite Slivers, which are dropped from the Oceanids, which you can find on the world map using your handbook. They are pretty challenging the first time, sister. definitely, and I do recommend doing it in co-op the first time or having a lot of experience. Perhaps I will make a video about the Oceanid in the future. Now let's see what next. The Phil Animo Mushroom, which are basically found on windmills or in um, Springville mostly. They are pretty common to find. Next. We have the Divining Scrolls, which are dropped from the Shaman Hilichos. They are pretty common, not too hard to find. Pretty easy to center the first time, that is for sure. And that was it for the I Ascension Materials. As as my, big sister. my final thoughts are, I think Barbara is an extremely good, if not the best support in the game next to Jean. I think she is really good at healing. She can heal party members, she can even revive with a big constellation. And she is a 4 star, so she will be more easy to pull than any 5 star in the game like Jean. I think Barbara will be a really big support in such things as Spiral Abyss or Domains with like friends. She is a really good character, I am gonna rate her a 9 out of 10. Or 9.5 out of 10 if I'm honest, she is really really good. And that was it for this review. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all next time. Take care. We had a great day today. Get some rest.